So, hey guys. It's like one in the morning again, so I'll go to bed. See you in the morning. What the hell is this? I'll see you in a little while. Hey guys, I haven't filmed anything all day. It's like 6 o'clock already. <laughs> Hey buddy, whoa. Jeez. How you doing, Max? Alright. No, I got a good idea. I'm gonna try to. I keep doing that. <laughs> it's better if I face this way or in the shade. I got a good idea. I could put this thing in a plastic bag. Not like put it in the water, but like. On those water games or something like that. Ruby, what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Stop. Ruby, what? <laughs> what, Ruby? Like, she just kept going back and forth. <laughs> so, whoa. Uh, oh, yeah. June's way. Probably. Oh, prob like before, before the sun goes down, it's probably like behind that tree bush thing. I don't even know what the hell that thing is. It's probably a tree. It looks like a, a usually like that, like, like right there, and that shadow is like right here, yeah, I remember that, yeah, it looks a lot different compared to June, yeah if, oh god, okay yeah that's really bright, if it was June it would, it would be right, right there, yeah it moved, it moved a lot this summer, well it does every summer, yeah and, well in June, that, well, eh, that's like, I don't know, that's like way over there, that's like, yeah, the tree always does that, obviously, but never in the winter, oh yeah, because that's because it goes like, straight, it's like straight on, I've, I'm pretty sure I made a video about that, oh yeah, and the, the snow days, I mean, getting the skin with How you doing, Max? I don't know why that looks always looks weird. Like boring. Like right there. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, with mom. What? Back here. Did she took the sham well? Yeah, it's Toro, Toro. <laughs> she didn't do anything, Ruby. <laughs> oh, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby Kuby. <laughs> ah, she doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> Jeez, good day today. Oh, it's hot in here. Now let's see. Ruby, how you doing, little girl? Is that my phone? Huh. Well, iPhone. Now let's see. Making that, still making that video collab. Oh yeah, this is like the whole collab. I wish I had a camera this powerful, but I know it's pitch dark on the camera, but there's like moon, the moon's out. It's almost full. It's gonna be full pretty soon. And you can't see this. I wish. Pretty bright out here. See? <laughs> this thing has horrible lighting. Oh, yeah. No, I only see the moon. There's the door. 
Yeah, this is what it looks like in the winter. Well, like no, October to February, I think. Oh, Ruby, you right here? Not with the moon up there like that? Yeah. Look. The same time? At night? No, not at night, no. No. Like in the day. Well, the sun is. See, that's like a... The winter and the summer is like way right there. I think if it was a little bit lower, that would be like middle of winter. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's on the table. I know you can't see anything. Okay, I have to say something about this. How the hell did this happen? I had like 10 this morning. I didn't... I haven't touched my computer like the whole day. How the hell did that happen? I didn't even touch it. Is there such thing as like hard drive misreadings or something? Like misreading how many space how much space you have? It was like ten, it's like what? Then it recounts it. There's not ten left, there's thirty. <laughs> That's just what the hell? <laughs> that, was, that is actually kinda cool. Was that like ten like damn it? Last night or this morning? And now it's like almost 40. <laughs> I don't know how, but yeah. Yep, you just saw that. That's the beginning. What the hell? What? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. Nina, I know you're in here. Yes, I am, Wilma. But where? Nina, if you shot me, I swear to God I'm leaving you. <laughs> you have to find me first, Lois. Where could I be? Well, there's a quantum hut that I've never seen in this room before. I gotta figure you're in there. How do you know, Lois? Right. I could be in that New York-style magazine. I gotta make a lot more clips, because I only have, like, six and a half minutes. Yes, you might say it was shockingly expensive. I'm gonna try the quantum hut. Ah! Hey, 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 I was in the bathroom! The hut and the key on the key on the key on the key on the key you know what, I'll try to find some, I have some old clips on here, from like May, oh yeah, Quagmire. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Glenn, thanks for coming over to tear up my carpet. <laughs> um, so this is too loud. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt, unicorn, something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. Alright, we're going Brazilian. Oh, right, we're going Brazilian. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this old clip of, um, well, it was back in May. Well, it was in, still in California, obviously. Um, what was it? Um, when David and I took a crazy one to three, we, um, did this project together. Have you heard, if you ever heard of this movie called The, um, I actually forgot then. No, no, well, technically it's a book, but. Oh, The Eyes of Watching God. But they do a report on it. And with it, like, we. Well, we typed, like. We had to do, like, this poster, like, symbolism poster or something. Something about Janie's hair. I don't even remember that well. Um, and we compared it to Angry Birds, who's a freedom. Whatever. I don't really know that much right now. Because <laughs> I've been out of school for, like, two months. And, well, technically a month, because I had to take those placement exams to get in my new school for next, well, for the next couple of years in Flemington. Um, what else? And we were playing with the speech function, and, and we went from slow to really fast, so I'll put a clip, like, right now. Okay, go. Out of all of these symbols, my friend ended up choosing Ginny's hair for us. The reason my friend picked this and I agreed was because it represents a huge role in this interesting book. What interested us about this symbol is that it shows Ginny's strength, power, and integrity. These attributes of Ginny's hair cause a great impact on the character and how they interact. <laughs> okay. Out of all of these symbols, my friend ended up choosing Ginny's hair for us. The reason my friend picked this and I agreed was because it represents a huge role in this interesting book. What interested us about this symbol is that it shows Janie's strength, power, and integrity. These attributes of Janie's hair cause a great impact on the character and how they interact. 
Oh, I, I screwed up. Our friend Janie's oh, hair was best symbolized as the red bird from Angry Birds with red wings attached to it. Our interactive part involves moving the wings side to side for our quotes. <laughs> the wings represent freedom and beauty just like Janie's hair. Janie's hair is similar to the wings because birds and Janie rely on their appearance. <laughs> birds don't rely on their appearance. <laughs> wings right. give them power to fly. Yeah, but you can't fly with hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fast. And some other clips of, um, uh, we were watching Happy Tree Friends at the same time, so if you don't like blood, if you don't like blood, gore, whatever, just skip this next, the, this, um, next scene. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I... I don't know how many, how many clips on here. But if I have enough, I can try to put it all together because I only have like six minutes of footage. Just, I, that's a minute less than yesterday. Well, I actually had two more, but the audio is broken. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's almost... Going to where we're back. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes or less. The pen! <laughs> okay, I might film a little more, so. It's almost midnight, so. So, night guys, I'm gonna edit the footage tonight and then upload it tomorrow, so. Oh. I'll, uh, see you tomorrow.